be he constantly had... dealing with these people who have never contributed anything outside of playing some fucking video games. Okay. A guy plays you're, video this games. Is, you're out of line. Twitch, do something. Do something, shithead. Do me. something. You're literally you do on your ass for a living. Response. Get up. You all right, so man, I'm I'm really dog shit at these commentaries, so I'm gonna try and make this as fast as humanly possible. So I saw the situation unfold with the Rick and his doxing um, from like these content creators, X Prom VZ, Frizz Eyes, and the Mark of Hero in like the last couple of months. Um, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna have some information up on the screen so you guys can see that shit and you guys can see all the receipts. Um, also, I'm gonna leave a link in the description so you guys can go ahead and look at the official Google Doc so you guys can go ahead and check that shit out. But uh, I think that, you know what I'm saying, there's a couple of things to take away from this entire situation. Um, one is that uh, the guys that did it are bitches, and really they need to be deplatformed. De um, they absolutely need to have some sort of uh you know what i'm saying they absolutely need to be reprimanded for the situ you know for the situation because like a lot of harm can come out of this not that it necessarily will and not that the probability is like extremely high but it's like it's a lot higher when they ended up trying to redox him after two months w using information that they had prior to you know what i'm saying from their friend the mark of the hero um it, you know what i'm saying and i'm ex i'm specifically trying to like talk to the point of like frizz eyes kind of like disavowing his like uh his involvement in the situation and i think that that was like really a pussy move because he he realized that he fucked up and he didn't want to and he he regurgitated information that rick you know publicly that rick had gone to links to make private again and and uh kind of like wash away because he didn't want that information out there and i think it's really funny that he like he tries to snake his way um into the dms with uh eight thoughts so that he can kind of like clear his name when it's like that that doesn't work like that bro you you knew you exactly what the fuck you were doing you were trying to get him hot you went and you regurgitated shit that you had heard um like you would like i would have not even chanced that shit if i had anything to say about him or to him i would have gotten in the discord with him or i would have went and made a video about him if i really didn't fuck with the rick like that or the things that he was saying about me or i would have gone and debunked things that he said in the his videos because they were wrong but it's like i on the flip side do understand why the they are so um upset is because rick has taken it upon himself to be the uh the bastion of truth in the call of duty community and basically the you know what i'm saying the moral authority in um in cod which is like i don't know where the fuck he got that idea from um and, and shout out to rick because he did make some really good exposing videos on people who were literally like deliberately cheating and trying to pull the wool over like uh the community's eyes but this is kind of like on a uh the dot or the uh, the two boxing thing is like a a, a lesser note like I, everybody already knows that they're doing that the people that are patronizing them know that they are doing that and i'm not gonna say i'm gonna leave out some of the stuff that i wanted to say in this because it's like i don't want to get on here and and make people feel like i'm attacking rick because i know everybody uh appreciates what rick is doing and they want to support rick and i think rick does deserve some support right now because uh it, it is very very scary thing to have your personal information um divulged to strangers on the fucking internet but let me be very clear it it should go without saying that where there's smoke there's fire and rick was looking for all the smoke with these guys and when he got it he backed down and this is why you don't go out here on a cruise, a truth crusade, trying to like actually eight thoughts could probably tell you because, you know, he's going out there. He made his videos in the past and I've seen multiple, you know, what I'm saying many other channels. Um, really, I can and uh, just be honest, I can't think of anybody else off the top of my head, but I have seen a lot of guys do it. And it's just like it kind of all runs together because it's like they're all doing the same thing and it ends up leading to nowhere. It's just content. Um, but in, in but on the flip side, on the inverse that content could end up with the guys who are sitting there like you guys have to the one thing that i think people just need to not to gloss over so quickly is the fact that these guys do make a living doing this and whether we respect it or appreciate it or not they make a living and this is how they feed themselves and potentially this is how these guys feed their families right and rick 
went and took direct shots at something that could have potentially ended in them losing their uh their accounts and made it hard for those guys to make the money that they do to make the living that they have right and it's like i do i for one say do not fuck you do not fuck with a man's money you do not fuck with a man's money that is first and foremost you do not fuck with how a person eats um you will quickly find out what people are willing to do to keep the food on the table trust and believe that and i think unfortunately rick is now seeing exactly what people will do um but these guys man they need to get um they need to get reprimanded they need to either get deplat if they're not going to get deplatformed and i don't i don't know like um the severity of like what happened and the information that they dropped i don't think it's severe enough on youtube's end for them to be like all right we're gonna go ahead and like we're actually gonna terminate these guys channels um or anything like that but i think it's enough to where they could catch a strike for that and i do think that people need to go and hit the google docs so that they can get that information and we can continue to um put that stuff out there so that they know and that we need to people need to send those to the appropriate channels because i'm not entirely sure if rick is um, I, I, it seems like Rick kind of washed his hands of the entire situation, which is understandable, but we have to understand this as well. Those guys, if they get away with this, they will feel more emboldened to do this to somebody else. And that cannot happen. Um, because it is a privilege to get up here and do what they do. And it's people like us and, and really some of us, like I've supported X pro and BZ financially before, you know what I'm saying? Uh, this was a long time ago, but it's like, I was, you know what I'm saying? I was a part of like some people who supported him on his journey and it really, it feels like shit to watch him go do that to somebody else while he has the standing that he has. And realistically, it's like, we all know it's par for the course. Like when you're the big dog that people are going to take shots at you and the things that you do. Um, and, and so it's like, I don't know, understand why him, especially him, Frizz Eyes and Mark of Hero is, or particularly him and Frizz Eyes as much as those guys are, they talk, um, they talk shit and they're good at talking shit and they've been doing this for a long time. I don't know why they couldn't have just made a fucking video and responded to Rick and just had that been that, you know what I'm saying? And flamed his ass up and then, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Shook hands and then agreed to disagree and then just walked on about their business. But I do know this. Rick had made like three or like four videos with X Pro and BZ in it. And I don't know how many videos he's made with Frizz Eyes and Mark of Hero in it. But it's like when you use people's likeness to make money, they're going to feel a certain type of way about that shit, man. Um, And you know what I'm saying? And guys, man, if you're planning on making that type of content, man, be very fucking really don't make that type of content because we got too many people doing this shit already. And we really don't need your ass doing it, too. Um, but man, I mean, if you're going to do it, man, be careful, bro. Be very fucking careful. Man. Uh, Cause these guys, these guys are basement dwelling fucking, um, you know what I'm saying? Reprobates, bro. These guys are, you know what I'm saying? Just some of the crudest fucking most whatever. I don't even know people that you'll ever fucking meet, man. Um, and you know what I'm saying? They'll do anything to keep the food on their plates, bro. But before the end of the video, man, I just wanted to, uh, I just seen this video by a dude named Pure Noble pop up in my recommendations, man. You guys got to fucking check that two boxing video that he did. Um, I mean, it is phenomenal. Um, I think this is the type of content that I want to see from people in the community, like detailed content, uh, well thought out content. And, um, you know, what I'm saying it details a lot of the things that I said in, um, you know, what I'm saying videos prior to this that I made maybe like a somewhere like a, um, about a month ago or something like that. I don't even know. But hey, man, dude, check this dude fucking out, man. This is some good shit right here. With that being said, man, hey, it's been your boy and uh, and I'm out later.